Well, good evening. It's uh, nearly 7.30 on the 26th of August, about one month from my last camp. Although as of this date, the 26th, I still haven't quite finished the general camp video from that camp. I don't know why. I've done the versus video, which you've probably seen. I did the poncho video, which you've probably seen. And I did the getting into bed video, which you've probably seen. And the getting into bed video was part of the general video, but it kind of sort of, when I was watching it through, it looked quite good to do just as a standalone video, which is what I did. And the rest of the video that I haven't done yet is pretty basic, really, like most of my videos. Um, I don't know why, <laughs> I just haven't quite got round to, to doing, um, to finishing that bit off, but I, I will finish it soon. I'll finish it before I upload this video. So you'll probably get two general videos back to back like buses. Obviously we're back to our uh, we're back to our usual spot. I am planning um, something marginally different this time. What I'm thinking of doing is rather than staying in one place, I'm not exactly going to work. <laughs> I'm not exactly going to exert myself, but I remember a camping spot about five kilometers in that direction, which I used with Simon and Nigel several years ago now. So I'm thinking of heading there. It's probably a bit more well-known-ish than here, so I know I'm never ever really going to the chances of someone camping here or up at my other spot is almost zero, to be honest. I think someone camping at the at the place where I'm, I'm heading, or thinking of heading, is pretty slim. If there is someone there, then, well, we'll just find somewhere else and last, <laughs> last resort. It's only five kilometers, so I can always walk back here again. Um, okay, well like I said, it's half past seven, so it's actually going to get dark in about 40, in about, uh, yeah, 45 minutes, 10 past eight, the sun sets. You can just see the sun still up at the moment, just, but it's uh, set to set <laughs> at 8.10 and it's 7.25. So that's about 45 minutes. So I'm going to pitch. I've brought the tarp again. I do like the uh, the tarp. And I'm going to pitch it. When I look at this space here, it kind of, I don't think that the, the 2D image shows it so much, but it is really quite sort of bumpy and it's not particularly flat here when you look at it. But I have to say, when you get a little bit closer and you just study it a tiny bit more, there is this exact little flat piece just through here, which is probably about my length. <laughs> pardon, pardon the... <laughs> um, yeah, so it's about six feet there. <laughs> six inches. Um, so I'll put the tarp uh, across here. Because it's not raining, I'm going to put the bivvy down first. Because it's quite it's quite useful if it's not raining to put the bivvy down, and then you can put the tarp over the top of it. Because it's not going to get wet. There's no rain. I'm not quite sure what the forecast is. I got a feeling when I looked the other day that there might be rain uh, coming in. So I think I'm going to pitch. The back of the tarp quite low again um, maybe not right to the ground but I think I'm going to pitch it quite low I did bring the super light bivvy which I used in the last video with the poncho rather than the bug bivvy mark 2 I was just thinking if there is uh, a little bit of inclement weather 
it might just give a little bit more you know protection if I have the back raised up a fraction but not necessarily because it's not waterproof apart from the very very tail end of it but it worked quite well last time so I just thought well I'm always bringing the Bugby V Mark II with me so I was just thinking something a little bit different again but I do like this MLD Grace Duo tarp it's uh, very light and really quite roomy and I have to say when pitched carefully very spacious and of course Lassie just has to be playing in the water right where I want to be getting water later on Lassie come on up here come on I think I'll get her come on Lassie I think I'll get her away from the water <laughs> Just give a come on, Lassie, up here. Just give the water about 45 minutes for sunset to settle down before I uh, nab some water from there. Okay, well, that's the bivy in place. I have to say, it does slope down a bit more uh, when you put the bivy down. <laughs> I think I think the ground isn't quite as flat as I was uh, first thinking, but it's uh, it, it's flat enough. It's it's plenty flat enough. So what I do is I do a basic uh, setup of the tap. I've done something. <laughs> Hang on, we're going to uh, have to do an, an edit here. I've put it, uh, <laughs> spot the deliberate error. I've pitched it sideways. One minute. <laughs> okay, well, I'd never done that before, so that was an interest, <laughs> interesting error. Okay, well, the way that it's uh, sort of lined up at the moment, as you can see, it's, uh, it's not lined up it was lined up better the first the first time round so if we loosen off this line here and that line that might be enough to straighten it up if not we need to move that peg on the on the left hand side over there Okay, well, we've got the general pitch here now. So, the wind, as far as I can tell, will be coming from the west, which is that direction, and southwest, which is that way. South is that way. But as far as I'm aware, it's not coming from the south. It's more west and southwest. So I probably could raise or lengthen that guy line on the corner to make that side a bit longer. But rain is forecast, I believe. So I think it's worth keeping that side to the ground as that's the, you know, the southwesterly and southerly side. These sides here are the northerly sides. So I've given this a long line to give height the longer the line <laughs> the longer your uh, the longer your extension the, the higher it goes uh, yeah so you guys over there and then obviously the back I've not used a pole at all I've basically use the land here this this uh, this area here this particular pitch that i've used <laughs> once or twice before is really good because where i put the bivy is in a slight dip and then there's some higher bits of ground here which helps raise the back up without the need of another pole so and that's handy and then I brought plenty of spare pegs with me this time. Although I always have, usually have enough 
but as I didn't have a pole or something like that I wanted a, a ridge line on the inside for the bug bivy hood in case the in case it's needed so I just put a, a peg down there and then I ran a centre line through to here and then all I need to do is to pitch out the two side pieces here and the other side there again this side here I will pitch a bit longer than the other side and whilst there is a slightly annoying mound just here it is kind of handy for putting a tablet on when I've <laughs> when I've pitched in this same spot before it's kind of handy for watching a film that area although it's a little bit awkward for Lassie to come and go but it works uh, well enough she's even got a little path through there I don't think she can quite get anyway she's got space in the area at the back there and I've not pitched it right to the ground so fingers crossed we don't get super heavy rain that bounces <laughs> that bounces in all right well all of that took about half an hour it's now about five to about five to eight so I was going to pitch out these two side pieces and then I'm going to get uh, some bits inside inside the tap okay well it's uh, ten past eight and Les has gone for uh, an impromptu run <laughs> okay so we've got everything uh, pitched we've got the bivy out so I've put the airbed ready to blow up and then the usual stuff sack full of nighttime stuff basically quilt leggings socks etc etc t-shirt etc etc there's a fleece in there as well so all my clothes are in with the nighttime and also a down jacket in that separate bag there as usual I've got my wind shirt on which I will keep on tonight as always and I brought this time I did bring waterproof trousers plus the kilt the kilt is handy just as an emergency something it's so light it just takes up absolutely no room no weight and it was worth it worth its weight in gold in that poncho uh, camp so I pretty much carry that uh, with me you know pretty much every single trip maybe if I had a tent I probably wouldn't bring it um, but other than that it's uh, for these types of shelters it's as I say it's worth its weight in gold really because you can use it for so many different combinations and I got my tiny bit of Cuban which you saw in my last video uh, and again I will put that to one side of me and that just just gives because the only disadvantage of you know the bivy like this is there's very little room you know to put things so it's handy to have another sheet of something just to one side at least okay, well and good morning everybody you might notice a slight change we haven't changed tents or anything like that but during the night and I say during the night it did it did happen during the night but I've only just lowered it quite literally just in the last 10 minutes or so and of course in that time it's actually stopped raining or well, the forecast does say more rain uh, is is due but I noticed that around about well I was fast asleep I think I went to sleep last night at about I don't know, it wasn't late last night, I was very, very tired last night. And I think I must have fallen asleep by 10 o'clock, to be honest. I only started watching um, Iron Man 3 and I didn't even see much of that. And I think I put my head down because I was tired. And I, I think I fell asleep very early last night. 
comparatively. Normally I get here and I can watch a whole film or something, but for various other reasons, which I won't go into here, I, I needed some sleep, let's say, and I, I, think I, I think I slept a long time last night. Anyway, so I woke up at about... I think it must have been about 7-ish. And I felt some sort of spots of rain <laughs> on my head. So I didn't I didn't lower the tarp. I left the tarp the height that it was, but I rigged up the kilt as a door. Funny enough, at that time we didn't have it rigged up here because this was obviously very high. I had it rigged up on this point here. And that actually gave me a lot of uh, protection because you can see the wind has decided to do, you know, almost a quite a 180 on me, but uh, you know, almost that, which of course it can do. That's the challenge you take when you have a tap. Um, it, does, it, just, it doesn't happen that often, but it, it does happen from time to time. So that gave me a lot of protection to be honest and I slept then until it must have been until sort of just before 11 and I just think I just woke up naturally and I just noticed that the top of the super light bivy was getting you know some spots of rain on it as well because obviously it just wasn't giving quite enough protection it was a little bit too windy and obviously some of the rain was was coming around so I thought oh, I better uh, I better get up and get out and get that sorted out and I wasn't quite sure how to go about that I was thinking do I need to put on waterproofs and <laughs> coats and everything do I need to put my shoes on and I, do, I, will, I will say I thought well it is the end of August it's not exactly you know winter and freezing which is just as, just as well because I couldn't have done it otherwise so I just went out barefoot as I am now with my night, effectively night clothes on, even though this is obviously where it's by day as well. And just lowered it down a lot to the point now where it's, uh, you know, very, very low. The, the wind is still southeast, so it is still coming in this direction. The wind, the rain has stopped for the moment, but I think it's going to start again and looking at the forecast more rain is due so unfortunately I do think we're going to get uh, more passing this way before the wind does another 180 and decides this afternoon it's going to come from the southwest and the west so we will just have to uh, put up with it for a little bit so I'm going to so it's quarter past 11. I am planning on going for a walk later, but I haven't been awake long, so I'm going to have some breakfast and some tea, and then uh, just sort of put up with this weather for the moment. I'm warm and dry. The kilt is keeping most of the inclement weather out. Yeah, and it's just starting to rain again now. So I think if I have a, a tea, I can hear Lassie, it doesn't matter about the rain to Lassie, you can hear her down, <laughs> splashing away down there. Oh, what a funny dog. Oh, anyway. All right, well, anyway, that's the, that, that, that's, that's the report from, from this morning, that we had a, a late morning walk around, just lowering the tarp. I haven't pitched it brilliantly, so that's why it's quite, flappy and, and loose it's not a perfect picture or anything but it's it's literally just for a few more hours and then I'm gonna pack up and go for a, a walk but I'm far too tired and knackered to and lazy to even think about packing up at the moment all right I'll catch you again in a minute Well, the weather has taken a little bit of a turn for the worst, and it's uh, very wet now. Rain is uh, coming in at force, 
it's a good job this isn't like at one o'clock in the morning because then we'll be doing this in the dark but if it'd be night time then I'd, I'd have lowered the tent down or the tarp down that end and then I've got up the other end and I just had to have done something inside but this weather has really you know done a bit of a number on me today but never mind we're okay I think we're okay I put all my um, critical stuff in here so critical stuff we've kept dry non-critical stuff is getting very wet unfortunately but when we get to the next camp we can pitch <laughs> hopefully oh hopefully the proper way around and I kind of like recover a bit so you know even my rig which has done you know quite a lot of saving I think is uh, pretty much you know met its match I'm gonna have to uh, do a bit of an emergency pack up and get uh, get moving even Lass is looking a bit wet and uh, <laughs> not very happy over there so we've got another camp we've got two more nights of camping so I hope that everything will be okay we, we will see uh, it's good job it's daylight not night time um, anyway I'll catch up with you all a bit later on 